November 14th is considered as the World Diabetic Day as per the initiative of uh, WHO for the last uh, several years. Diabetes is one of the commonest ailments or chronic illness that mankind is suffering from. Even the developing countries like India and GCC countries, Gulf Cooperation countries, Middle East, have one of the highest incidence in the world in the case of diabetes. When you look at uh, look around to you, one in five people is a diabetic. This is a bewildering statistics and it underscores the importance of, uh, you know, our concentrated focused effort for controlling diabetes. Incidentally, um, the, it is interesting that November 14 is, uh, you know, considered or celebrated as the Children's Day in India. This year, the theme for World Diabetes Day is diabetes and family. So the family has to do a lot to change the lifestyle so that we can prevent many of the, these chronic ailments in a, in a considerable way. So the complications of diabetes can be prevented. Suppose we take childhood and uh, our efforts really has to start from, you know, when the children are young. The habit of um, lack of exercise and previously we used to call as couch potatoes, watching television and eating and gaining weight is always a pre-diabetic condition. Now, instead of couch potatoes, what they do is they get addicted to the social media. And that also uh, takes away any possibility of exercise in the childhood. In addition, it also gives enormous tension for the children and they get away from interpersonal relationship to a great extent and this tension building also is not healthy for them and then it leads to a poor family life and parental conflict so this kind of a family well-being is um, interrupted which is not good for lifestyle diseases and the out of which the commonest is diabetes. So there are two kinds of diabetes, as every one of you know. One is the type 1, which usually happens in childhood, and which is um, mostly, almost 100% insulin dependent. Whereas the type 2 diabetes, which can happen in young adults, as well as in, in, the, in the middle age and elderly, and that has to be treated as a separate entity with oral medications and perhaps insulin also. But the commonest complication it can lead to is cardiovascular disease, um, retinal disease and also the, the peripheral um, vascular disease, the podiatric complications of diabetes and then of course the nephrological complication, the, 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 the kidney complications of diabetes. So now we know that this can all be controlled for several years. Even um, I have patients who had diabetes more than 50 to 55 years without any of these complications. So therefore we know that these patients can be treated well and controlled well, provided the measures are taken, uh, you know, in the proper fashion. In India and GCC, one of the problems which we see is that the cardiovascular disease also is increasing in number. And as we know, this is the 
the first or the largest killer of um, uh, uh, you know of the mankind is the cardiovascular disease. So in diabetes, the percentage of cardiovascular disease doubles, and therefore, um, all the more we have to not only that we have to treat it, but before even treating, we have to see to prevent it. Sometimes, unfortunately, due to family uh, predilections, you know, if, even if the diabetes happens, with the proper measures, we can control the complications if we take care of the blood sugar control and also the weight control. But as I mentioned, try to prevent it from the childhood and uh, young adulthood, and then it can continuously be postponed any complication and the quality of life in general will be good. So being aware of the facts and the realities of diabetes is extremely important on this World Diabetic Day. I also want to underscore the importance of um, nutrition and um, support. The dietitian can contribute a lot and many times we ignore their advice and um, we go with our own um, usual understanding. There are a lot of scientific developments in this area and um, we should adapt to a teamwork and a, a diabetic patient should be one of the team members of the whole network so that we will all benefit. We will not feel that we are a patient and uh, we are getting treated and our quality of life and productivity even as a diabetic patient will continue to be as good as any other normal person. I hope all the diabetics in this um, day will try to study more about it and to go on a scientific management way so that every diabetic will benefit or pre-diabetics also will benefit to get rid of or to postpone the complications for years to come. Wish you all a good health. Thank you. Games.